Hi, and welcome to the cooking show. So today I'm gonna make some really delicious, I don't know if I'm gonna call them cupcakes, maybe I will. The reason I made them was because I wanted to challenge myself to not waste any food. And I found out that I had one banana, I had chia seeds, I had oats, and I had tahini. And then it turned out to be this really amazing gooey cupcakes kind of things. So I'm gonna start making the cupcakes now and it's really, really easy. You need oats, you need a banana, you need tahini, or actually you can skip the tahini. You can have peanut butter, almond butter, or you can just skip it all together, but it really makes like this yummy, yummy taste. Baking powder, chia seeds, and dates. It's also optional. If you want them a bit sweeter, uh, you can have dates or agave or honey or whatever you like to use. Cheers! So first I'm gonna peel the banana. And this is a Magi Mix blender and it's like really, really good. So I don't really have to cut it up or anything. It just, it takes everything. Then I will add about two deciliters of uh, oats. That's about one cup. One moment. A really smart trick to measure up this, if you have like a regular Ikea glass, up to this point, it's two deciliters. For the people who don't like to use real uh, measurements like me. <laughs> okay. Oats, and then it's about two teaspoons of baking powder. And then we have the tahini. It's a one and a half teaspoon, no, one and a half tablespoon. Tahini actually has more calcium than milk. So that's a fun fact and it tastes mm, so good. I'm also gonna add uh, dates because I like them to be like sweet and gooey. So of course remember to take out the, the pit. Is that what it's called? A pit? <laughs> Pitted dates? I don't know, I just made the, the rock. <laughs> I'm just kidding, the stone. <laughs> I don't know. Anyhow. I'm going to add about uh, one, two, three, four. Last time I had eight dates. Um, I think I'm going to add around five today. These are also really, really small dates. Um, <laughs> lastly, I'm going to add the chia seeds. And chia seeds are really good for omega-3s. And they also swell up uh, when they have liquid or when they're blended with liquid. So I would not recommend you to eat them raw. I usually like them soaked or baked like this when they have been uh, with liquid for a while. So I'll add about uh, two teaspoons. And then I will blend. <laughs> this reusable metal tray and what I usually do is that I uh, take a piece of parchment paper and I take some coconut oil in the bottom so that they re really easily scoop up again. So I'm gonna do that first and then I'm gonna take the batter into the tray then to the oven. Coconut oil is also really nice, like here to just take on your skin afterwards. Especially in these times, like the skin on the hands is so dry. So anything to make them moist, moisturize. I don't know. Okay, 
right, so now I'm gonna take the batter into the tray. Okay, so this was about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, cupcakes. And you can just take like another banana and you'll have more that'll be a little more fluidy. Or you can double the measurements and then you'll have twice as many, of course. <laughs> I'm excited! So I will top some of the cupcakes or muffins with the apple because they really become so delicious when they're in the oven. It tastes like apple pie. And then I'm gonna top uh, the last ones with um, these raw cacao beans. I'm just gonna crush them up and then they become like cacao nibs. And they taste really, really good. And they're filled with lots of antioxidants. So I think I'm just gonna do it like this. chocolate, real cacao, and oh, I wish you could smell them through the camera. So I'm going to drizzle some tahini on, and then we're going to taste! The final verdict. Oh my god, but they're so pretty. <laughs> I'm gonna eat them. You can eat them because I've taken lots of pictures. Okay. Mmm. Good? Mmm. I want to taste one too. Mmm. Mm. So good. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Better than last time, actually. Sweet, salty, crispy. Gooey. The tahini it's party in your mouth. Yeah, the tahini is like such a good taste. Yes, okay. I really hope you go home. Or if you're at home, go to the kitchen <laughs> and make these. You're probably at home right now. Um, you should be at home right now. <laughs> yeah. I really hope you try to make them. Uh, again, if you want to swap tahini with peanut butter, you can. And uh, let me know what you think. I'm so excited for you to try them. Okay, bye.